right, we're here at the Bell Centre in Montreal and we're doing something a little different tonight. We're going to check out some hockey action here. And this is my first time at a hockey game in ages. And I decided to put some of my YouTube monetization money into a hockey ticket for you sports fans and arena fans and even people like myself that appreciate architecture and history. So enjoy the video. We're going to show you some hockey clips and some views of the inside of this beautiful arena here in Montreal. Good evening to all my viewers. It is right now Thursday, January 26, 2023. It's exactly 5.05 p.m. and we are here outside the Bell Centre in Montreal where this video is going to be a bit different. We're actually going to be going inside the Bell Centre to check out the inside, this venue, this arena. And we're going to go see some hockey tonight, uh, get some clips. And it's very rare that I go to a hockey game. I actually got a, a deal on this ticket. So last time I went to a game, I think, was in the late 1990s. So I decided to put some of my YouTube monetization money that I got uh, towards a, a ticket, less than $200, right near the front uh, where the ice is, but not too far, not too close to the ice, and not too far either. So we're going to go inside. I'm going to show you the interior and uh, get some clips of what it looks like inside and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll be going inside momentarily. And before we do, I just want to point out that where I'm standing right now is where the train tracks used to be for Windsor Station. There's Windsor Station right there. And the train tracks would basically run this way where I'm standing. Uh, actually, you can see an outline of where they used to be right here. So this is where the train tracks used to be. Uh, and of course, they moved it to Lucien Lallier Station. And uh, yeah, we'll go inside and take a look. This was built, by the way, as well in the late 1990s. So uh, let's go inside and check it out. So we just passed through the metal detectors. We showed our ticket and we're now in the main concourse. And there it is, the main arena, the interior. We're going to be going there in a minute. And we are in section 102, row FF and seat five. But before we go inside, I want to show you this little exhibit here. This is a, a Yuki. This is the Canadians, Montreal Canadiens mascot, but it used to be the Montreal Expos mascot. Yes, Montreal did have a baseball team right there. That's what the logo looked like, Montreal Expos, Major League Baseball team. Left Montreal in the early 2000s to basically move to Washington. They became the Washington Nationals. So for all you Expos fans out there, well, here you go. A little homage to Yuppie. And Yuppie was the Expos mascot and he got adopted by the Montreal Canadiens. So let's find our seat. And before we find our seat, we're going to find our entrance first. Um, but even before I find my entrance, I'm going to get some drinks, some Coke or something. And uh, yeah, we're very close to 102. And uh, next video, we'll be entering the main arena rafters, uh, not rafters, but uh, seating area, the stands more or less. And I just want to point out as well that, as you can see, the Bell Center has quite a few concession stands, restaurants and whatnot. Uh, they have a little bar here, uh, they have a Tim Hortons, all kinds of different things. So uh, I'm going to get myself a Coke or something and uh, we'll go to our seats. Uh, UP himself. There he is. So I just bought myself this cup filled with some Diet Coke. And uh, this cost me $15 around. Nice little cup though, souvenir. Tells you the history of the Montreal Canadiens hockey team. All right guys, here we are. We are now entering the main arena. There it is, the Bell Center of Montreal. What a beautiful place. All right, well, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to my seat, but first, I'm gonna show you up close at the ice level. 
There's 102. And uh, we're in FF. Here's the players' benches. I'm going to point out a couple of things while I'm here, while I have the chance. Uh, I'm going to show you the different broadcast booths. Let's go check out the players' benches. There's a Jumbotron if you're interested. Here's the tunnel where the players will enter from the dressing room. Some hockey sticks there, spare sticks. Up there is the broadcast booth, that's where they actually announce the games. You got uh, RDS. TSN Radio 690, that's the station I listen to occasionally. Alright, let's go to our seat now, which is going to be right here. straight ahead you're actually going to see where the Zamboni is parked. We'll kind of make it out from here. And that is used to clean the ice and surface it. There's some historical banners up there of famous Montreal Canadiens in the past. Throwing some pucks on the ice. Practice should be starting soon to warm up. Look at the size of that scoreboard. Sounds like the organist is playing some Michael Jackson music. There's the organist. And if you're wondering where the organist is situated, right over there. Way up top. Montreal is taking the ice. That's the home team. Montreal Canadiens. This is the warm up. There's uh, Detroit Red Wings. And these are two of the oldest hockey teams in the NHL. National Hockey League. And look at this. We got UP. Cool cameras up here on the scoreboard. It's up on The Zamboni ice resurfacing machine. And you don't only see them at NHL rinks, professional rinks, but you'll also see them at the City of Montreal rinks playing the ice. And they scrape the old ice surface off, the shavings, and pour some fresh water on it. And it's not just any water, it's actually hot water, I believe. Look at this, there's two of them here. So here's the Zamboni machines, once again, almost completing their job. Look at that, fresh coat of ice. 
really satisfying to watch. All right, next clip coming up. I just wanted to point out some more interesting things down there. Looks like there's some medical stuff. Bit of action here. Hopefully I'll record a goal or two. Definitely is a different experience being there. By the way, Montreal's in blue, Detroit's in red and white. Usually Montreal wears the red, white, and blue jersey, but this is called a retro jersey. It's basically an alternate jersey. And it's actually my favorite shade of blue. We got our first goal, Detroit has scored. wonder what they do during the commercial breaks. This is pretty much it. They get the uh, ice crew out and the ice crew shovels the ice. Not as good as the Zamboni machine, but that's the job. I just want to show you guys something. If you look carefully, there's some microphones right there hanging down. And those microphones kind of enhance the sound. So any sounds that occur on the ice, they're picked up by those microphones and are actually played on the speakers. So it kind of exaggerates the sound a bit. Just something to keep in mind when you're at a sporting event. Which is, uh, yeah, makes it more entertaining, I guess. And by the way, for the speakers, well, they're up there. The end of period, Siren. All right, that's the first period over. Now it's a 20-minute or 18-minute intermission, I believe. There we go. Last period of play, apparently. As it goes to overtime or shoot out. Uh, 
I saved my battery. I got 28% left. Say that again, So far, it's been quite the experience. Interesting, I must say. Seven minutes and 15 seconds left now in the third period. Just wanted to show you one more thing here. Here's all the TV cameras up there. There's a large portion of it. period here. versus three players. So a lot more room to play with. One of the newer rules in the National Hockey League. In this case it's four on three because it's a power play. Can't have three on two. This could be very close to the game ending. He's over, so it's where is it for? I feel. came back and won it on the other end. Wow. Alright folks, well that's uh, that's a wrap for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this unique coverage. Uh, I had a fun time here. Very cool experience. And uh, maybe another time down the road I'll definitely come back. Maybe get some seats up there in the higher sections. I'm not going to bother filming leaving, but uh, I'll just say this. It is a chaotic 
exit from these sporting events, especially if you're taking public transit. All right, have a good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Remember, hit the like button, hit subscribe, turn on your notifications. Have a great night, everybody. Just a little fun bonus here I wanted to show you guys. As you know, uh, well, first of all, people are leaving the Bell Center right now. I'm going to probably wait for the crowd to go down a bit before I hop on the metro. But as you know, you're not allowed to bring outside drinks, uh, juice or food or whatever into the Bell Center. So what I did is I bought some iced tea right before the game and I didn't want to waste it. So I put it in this snow bank here and my idea was to come and get it after the game. Let's see if it's still there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Look at that. My iced tea is still there and it's nice and cold. So, little uh, trick there if you want to preserve your drinks, at least in winter time. All right, have a good night, everybody. Thank you for watching.